Thanks for taking the time to join me on my channel, Nigel's Beyond Things. How are you doing? How are you keeping? Hope everybody's safe and sound where you are. In this video, and I'll leave the links to this in the description box down below, I was talking about red, pink and purple skies. Why would it be happening and what would cause it? And I think on the screen it's self-evident a big red object coming towards us. Planet, whatever you like, it makes no difference. And talking about that, if you go over here, you can see that uh, Jeff P has just made a new video about this same subject i'll leave the links to his channel in the description box down below so it's nice and simple for everybody to find please subscribe if you're not and say hello share the love i was also showing you how they made the weather in australia to me it looks like them trying to hide something in the sky now that wouldn't be possible and i was talking about logic in a way that how could we possibly be logical and see that there's something coming towards us the migrating poles, the uptick in earthquakes, volcanoes, red suns, red moons, and also that great lie that they keep telling us, the mad weather, global climate change. It's because we burn our dinners, that's why the earth is heating up and we're having such a bad time with the weather. And yes, what I've just said you could pick holes in, and it is definitely not watertight, but there are stories that fit inside that and make it watertight and we'll be dealing with that in another video but looking around can we find data can we find proof can we find statistics that tells us that there is something coming i do believe we can let's have a look at this what we could do is look at the data from meteors asteroids and comets if we go over to earth's busy neighborhood i'll leave the links to this and every other thing that we're going to look at in the description box down below I'm updated this. This is from 2018, December the 21st. Look at the screen. It looks very, very busy. If we look at the legend, white objects except the phasers moon are outside 10 lunar distances. Green objects inside 10 lunar distances. Yellow inside the sphere of influence of the Earth. Orange inside two lunar distances. And red is inside one lunar distance. Easy to follow. Let's press play. I want you to take notice of what happens towards the end of this. This is quite interesting. A lot of objects seem to disappear very, very quickly. Let's have a quick look. And then suddenly, oh, where did they all go? It's, it really does make you wonder if this data is being manipulated. It is very, very possible because the USGS seem to be doing the same thing with the earthquakes. Hey, what do I know? Let's very quickly refresh this and have a look and see what goes on. Super fast internet speed, as you can see. I'm looking at this like you are for the first time. And yet again, they all seem to just disappear into the background. That's quite interesting. It seems to be on a go slow. At any rate, as you can see, it seems to be quite a busy old place out there. Earth's busy neighbourhood. Just saying, if you scroll down the page here, it gives you all the information about the objects on the page and what we've been looking at all the way down here. Now, is there any more information we could be looking at? If we click on the next page, we can have a look at this. Nothing's there. Never mind, let's try this page. At first glance, we can see month after month, year after year, there seems to be an upward trend. There seems to be more objects coming. But as this is only a three year chart, it doesn't really tell us very much. Let's have a look at the 10 year chart. I've preloaded this one. Says he, super fast internet yet again. Hey, never mind. The joys of video. I could just cut that out, can I really? At any rate, let's have a look here. Year after year, we've got a 10 year chart here and you can see there's an upward trend. February upward trend, March upward trend, April. The numbers really do speak for themselves down here. I'll let you peruse and take a gander. But just looking, 
we can see there is an upward trend. In some instances, you can see that the figures do drop, but uh, all in all, taking a look, we can see that there is an increase of objects coming towards us, especially September, October, November, and December. We can also look at this. Being smart, saving a little bit of time, I preloaded this page, but every page that I've gone to seems to be refreshing. That's quite annoying because I've just lost some data that I needed to show you. It makes no difference. For me, this graph puts everything into context. We're looking at 19,263 near Earth asteroids that they're tracking at this particular moment in time. How many have they missed? It makes you wonder. 8,426 of those are 140 meters. 896 of those are one kilometer and bigger. If you look up in the skies, we seem to be getting more and more fireballs. Or is the news reporting getting much better? Let me show you some other figures that show that there's something coming towards us. Looking at the data, we can see that it seems to be an upward trend. There seems to be something coming towards us. There seems to be more debris, meteors, asteroids, whatever you like. Looking at this page, the closest approaches to Earth by minor planets. We can see the first one on the list here. November the 16th of 2018 that was close that was skimming our satellites but something that made me sit up and pay attention is this I've marked it off there happens to be 43 entries between the first one and the blue one and nine of those entries that means approximately one in three of those happens to be close approaches to our earth in 2018 what are the chances and the rest of them seem to be between 2011 and 2017. Our governments would have told us if there was something coming, surely. I think the figures really do say a lot and speak for themselves. You decide. I'm only just pointing my views out. That's all I've got for you now. Much love, much peace, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.